the markets provide information to us right and uh, the information which is given to us is only for a simple reason that we understand how to monetize it so that we can convert it into profits right that is the whole perspective and that is the whole point of having all these charts and looking at all the information and some of you track news channels etc etc the whole idea is to take that information and to be in a position to monetize it so that it translates into profits for us so that is the way okay i understand markets all the information which is there on screen is for us to be put into information so that we can make money out of it now when it comes okay to the markets I really okay like to understand the markets in the context of what I am going to do, the kind of trades I do and what the rest of the market is doing. Okay, so I really okay do not trade in a vacuum. My trade okay I put into a market. I actually okay want to understand what the rest of the market is doing, whether it's on the right track or not on the right track. And that information okay is best served to us okay via the options market right the options uh, market why that uh, all inclusive open interest is the best way possible okay we can look at real time the positions of the entire market and in one single screen the open interest of participants uh, you can also have a look at it by volumes you can also okay have a look at it okay why some other 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 factors as well but principally volumes and the open interest will tell you what the rest of the market is doing now when it comes to the rest of the market understanding okay why they are taking that trade becomes as important as why we should be taking the trade also right so for in instance yesterday for instance yesterday uh, if i were to look at that uh, 19400 call So the funny thing okay about what really happened all through the day we came back exactly okay where we had opened uh, yesterday in the morning at 9:15 so through all of that uh, the market okay was exactly at the point okay where we were at 9:15 am in the morning but what really happened through it there was a, a large exchange of premium between buyers and sellers and then sellers and buyers and roughly translated in terms of value that uh, number okay comes down between between 2000 to about 8000 crores uh, of uh, transacted volume uh, wa value okay between uh, traders uh, roughly about 52 lakhs uh, of uh, premium turnover was uh, generated 52 lakh crores of free premium turnover was generated by the markets only today so that gives you a sense of how much business is getting transacted every single day in the market but the point I was making over here was uh, about this 19,400 strike. It started building open interest. And this was a point uh, 23rd of August yesterday, right up to about 11 a.m. The market was below 19,400. They started building open interest. Then the market okay, went above 19,400. It dropped open interest. Then today it was almost flat. There was nothing. And it uh, the market okay, started dropping down. It was almost certain that the market is going to go down they built open up interest up again so it came back exactly to where it was uh, yesterday we did about 4 lakh 83000 odd contracts and uh, we did about 4 lakh 76000 odd uh, contracts okay somewhere around 3 o'clock today uh, but in between there we, there is a story okay which has happened over here all this writing which was happening earlier at about uh, this uh, this level of about 35 36 and you can see that over here 35 36 they had to cover up higher and today also okay they came in and they wrote and luckily okay they got that strike okay going down to zero so what am i trying to communicate over here a lot of traders outside a lot of traders outside they use okay this open interest chart and uh, that open interest chart is evidence okay from the options table you can get a free options table at the nse and a lot of you are looking at everything in the options uh, market the open interest uh, visualization screens right this will tell you exactly okay where the open interest of the entire series is and this for me in one one clear picture tells me what is the positioning of the market 
Now, when it comes okay to the NSE, the National Stock Exchange, where we all trade, it's an unwritten rule. It's an unwritten rule that the majority of traders are writers. So, about you can say okay, out of all this open interest over here, which is uh, available to you on every single strike, we can safely say that 90% of that bias is about uh, them being writers. So, when that call open interest is on the higher side, we take it as a conclusive evidence that that is driven by writers and that's why that is a resistance okay that is the known thought of the market but what really happens is a lot of other traders who come into the market a little while later look at this information and then they tend to think that this information is right they get late to the market and they start adding open interest on top of what is already added so the early writers would always win but the people who are late okay to the writings are the ones who are are the ones okay who panic and create moves in the market right so back to that same 19400 ce strike if you look at it that open interest reduced yesterday because the market went up and the open interest came up uh, today because the market interest was going down is that an indicator to what really can happen tomorrow in the market I don't know okay it is a crowd mentality okay it is just basically because everybody is writing the trader is writing out over there so my point over here is just tracking open interest as a tool to form a bias is no longer working in the markets is no longer giving you that big conclusive edge in the markets and the faster you move away okay from that line of thought that all that is evident in open interest is 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 right or the correct way to trade the markets the better your account is gonna be right so just just walk away okay from that chain of thought that uh, open interest is the be all and end all okay for everything in the markets yes the universe is big and it's building but at times open interest can be a lagging indicator and at times, okay, especially like on a Thursday, and I pointed that out in a tweet also earlier today, open interest can be a leading indicator to what happens in the market. Now, this itself, okay, is a topic, okay, for an entire uh, half a day of uh, conversation. We're not going to have that conversation today, but I just wanted you, okay, to walk away, okay, from that line of thought of looking at the options market. So what we are proposing over here is that the, the business the information okay which comes to us is 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 many fold nobody okay can decipher the market in its entirety and tell you 100 percent that this is conclusively gonna happen tomorrow right the market is a business of probability and it will always remain probability it will never become 100 percent certainty so nobody can tell you that huh this settlement is gonna be at this price in three days from now or even one hour from now nobody can know for sure yes they can attach a probability and they can say okay that this is possible but nobody can say 100 percent it is there which is why when it comes okay to the understanding of markets we have to okay work with our own charts and begin to understand what we call the structure of markets okay so what i basically okay like to think about is uh, my trading I like to think about in terms of uh, understanding the market in terms of structure, the current uh, structure of the market. Then within that structure, I like to find out okay, the pulse of the market, where the market's heartbeat is, what is driving that immediate demand and supply, and is that demand and supply good enough to change the structure of the market? And number three is what is the rest of the market doing compared to the current structure of the market so is that open interest now now by the rest of the market is uh, i mean okay the options market and obviously okay we can look at the rest of the market through the open interest positioning of traders but is that open interest conducive to the structure can it be a leading or a lagging indicator to what price can do next so if you just shift your thinking from looking at everything from price and open interest perspective and pay a little bit more attention to what the pulse of the market is and what the structure of the market is. Uh, believe you me, okay, there's going to be a big change in the way you're going to get results from the market.
see 90 percent of the of the traders out over there guys okay they do not succeed in market okay and there is a reason okay they do not succeed in markets and it's only because okay they do some things okay which are not right okay which which i did when i was a beginner trader and luckily okay i learned and i realized okay that they were not the right way okay to make profits from the market if we just walk away from that chain of thought and we stop doing okay what 90 percent of traders outside are doing we open an immediate road for us okay to become profitable in the markets it means going out there and approaching the markets differently it means going out there and doing things which other traders do not do so for us okay the structure has always been evidenced okay through the market profile and uh, within this market profile also you'll get to know a lot about what the market is doing okay like for instance when i see this i know okay that there is supply today and when the market okay was trading at this level today i was waiting to see if supply came back where do i look for that supply i look for that supply in the order flow right and uh, or for that matter okay when the market okay comes to one of these pink lines which is uh, the poc i know okay that the market is trading the largest amount of volume over here so i am looking okay into other charts and what other traders are doing and what the open interest is doing at the largest poc to find out okay how the market is treating this particular zone what kind of open interest is getting built over here so it's just collecting all this information from a chart which is helping me to understand what kind of a trade I should take and also helping me understand what kind of trade others are also doing, right? And then, okay, when it comes, when I've identified that trade, all, okay, I'm doing is uh, looking for a confirmation of my bias YA and order flow chart. Now, why do I need to do that? So suppose, okay, I've decided, let's say early in the morning, everybody okay was was long right so you can come to this uh, position over here just taking today as an example and no okay the example is not gonna repeat but uh, let's say okay everybody was long and there was no case at that higher open and that gap up and uh, the way okay the market was moving in that very first hour there was absolutely okay no case okay to be bearish here at 19575 but like I showed you in the previous chart, there were A singles and uh, there was a previous supply zone which we knew from understanding structure. Now, all we had to do was wait to see if the market okay, gave us some supply. And the biggest evidence of that will be coming when you see an IS bar in a 30 minute time frame. This is such a powerful tool that if this number if this uh, signal gets printed initiative selling it does not print very often but when it does you can always take a sell signal sell side signal with this as a stop loss for the day 19570 and the market okay as long as it stays below this level this higher level okay it's gonna be dominated by sellers this is okay what this signal tells us this works the best on a 30 minute time frame because uh, not everybody trades a three minute time frame Right. So most of the buying and the selling of the market is for the full day. People who write uh, positions, they write it okay for about what one day, two days, sometimes even five days. So it's best worked okay over a 30 minute time frame. And whenever okay this signal comes, you don't have to think much. Okay, you have to okay go opposite okay and 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 buy okay a put or short futures okay using 19500 okay as the stop loss at the top of the top of the bar plus a, plus a small filter, and you will see. Every time, okay, this kind of a signal gets printed, the market, okay, does not, okay, come back, okay, to that level. That's how, okay, strong this signal is, okay. Now, the only way this signal, okay, gets broken is by a contra IB signal, right. Here also, the signal was printed at about 19.441 and if you give about 10 points of filter, 19.448, okay, becomes a stop loss, okay, into close for that. The only way, okay, this signal, okay, can break is another IB bar coming in and then okay this sell, sell signal is nullified but this works the best for us in uh, in trending kind of a markets where you can okay take these higher levels plus a small filter and uh, you can okay form a bias or trade okay your setups based on what information the order flow is giving us now the question over here is is this the only information which we can we have to pick up from the order flow chart 
and uh, a lot of people okay they look at order flow chart and they just look at ib is or they look at the numbers over here or they look at cot over here uh, or they look at only the imbalances over here guys okay this is this is this is not what is order flow so order flow for us is a sum of five things and uh, i've covered okay those five things in our user manual and even okay if you want to take one trade out of the order flow i would encourage you okay go through these videos okay because for us order flow is not just numbers on a chart it's a sum of five things it's the market liquidity which is the zeros and the big numbers on the chart it is the cot and the open interest is also there it is the rb ib rs and is it is the volume cuts clusters as evidenced by the ibs and the ISs, etc and it's those imbalances okay those clusters of big reds and big greens whenever they they come so a sum of all these five things make us and make an order flow chart for us so that's how okay an order flow chart is made so if you come back to a market and just look at cot and say okay my order flow chart is telling me that this cot is this and that cot is that and you try to take a trade based on that one factor without looking at the remaining things your trades are not going to work out perfectly because cot is not order flow right cot is just the part of order flow the entire order flow story is the sum of all these five things and if you're gonna ignore four of them and focus only on one thing you're not collecting the full information from the chart to monetize it right you need to look at all five of them in their entirety and at times okay one is gonna be stronger than the other but if you just focus on only one okay you're not okay making justice okay to an order flow chart which is why when we are looking at order flow we don't tell you okay just to focus okay on the numbers okay which are evident on your screens right the numbers by themselves do not mean anything this numbers 106 102 134 45 133 so what really happens okay i get a lot of novice okay uh, uh, order flow traders who come up to me and say okay this printed 155 and this printed 192 but if you look at the market structure as a whole as a whole you're talking about what 15 or 20 thousand crores of volume traded every single day now what is 155 lots okay in that and that too okay at a random time of 10 15 in the day it's it's not even a small needle in a haystack the market is that huge so try to walk away okay from just looking at just the micro picture and forming a view okay till about 3 30 look at the entire definition of order flow and those that definition is going to be covered by those volume clusters those imbalances those cots those liquidity zeros etc right so you would okay find sometimes that the market like in this case over here the market was definitely going down okay right from the open but these greens came in now these greens are those earlier reds which covered okay and then the cot also went green so this is a perfect signal at 11 45 to book okay some of the shots okay and it makes sense okay you book book a shot over here because okay the market is not telling you okay that there is a lot more downside over here right but this whole information was given by the market at 11 45 and 12 15 and a lot of greens okay came in and even we booked our puts at this point of time but hello okay the market okay does not close at 12 15 it still has to trade till 3 30 pm so what is the market telling you next okay the market is now telling you okay that there is okay a fresh initiative selling which is coming in and there is more supply coming in now this green is not coming back right so you move onwards with that concept that yes the market is giving you information every single hour every single minute and you keep okay responding to the message of the market we cannot live in the past or we cannot okay live in the data which is already known to the market the smart money does not think like that the smart money is always pushing at looking at new information so when this was printed 
yes okay you would have okay booked your your positions and if you won the day you wanted to move out fine it's done but now there is a fresh signal okay which is being created over here that means there is fresh selling coming over here and you can look down every time okay the market okay came back to this level there was okay responsive selling coming back so this is telling you that again yes okay there is selling coming back into the market now with the armed with this information from the clusters the cart the is the imbalances and all the zero prints okay which are here at the top can you not make a more better decision to be short in the market right so now everything is come back together yeah here it was not coming together okay here there was blue and the cot was there and this thing but with this is new information came in the cot turned red and everything okay is is perfect for you to take a good decision to work the market right so again not every single is is going to be the same not every single ib is going to be the same and one cot of a bar is going to be different from the cot of another bar it's just the nature of the market it's demand and supply it's ebb and flow and things are gonna keep changing every single time because okay we have that little bit of intelligence about about us we are humans okay we are expected to exercise okay that intelligence when we are looking at the markets don't wait for the chart okay to tell you everything just okay apply yourselves also a little bit and if you can do that you can okay work towards monetizing the information from the market so the route okay i suggest is uh, i work with market profile you can look at any chart to understand structure of the market you will get a zone okay which you will call a support you will get a zone okay which you call a resistance and you'll get actionable levels from where you can take trades out of right so you will know that okay if i want to take a trade i need to take a trade over here so you will get those zones okay you will get okay an understanding of market structure that way then when you have an understanding of market structure look at the pulse of the market now the pulse of the market is going to be always evidenced in the demand and supply and the best way to know all the demand and supply is to come through an order flow chart which transparently tells you the buying and the selling okay which is happening now when it comes to order flow a lot of us okay have never used okay the order flow before so there is work involved okay this is what 90 percent of the crowd of trade traders trading outside do not do okay so we work a little bit more harder than them but we want okay better results than them that is why we work harder and if you're close okay to the demand and supply of the market and if you're able to break down that demand as buyers driving demand or sellers driving supply what else do you need okay to be profitable in the market nothing else okay you have okay everything printed for you right now this is going to take time okay it's going to take a lot of effort okay for you okay to get into that position where you can work like this but you will be laying a foundation of something big okay to happen to you in the coming few months and 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 years right so you're not working just for a today and a tomorrow you're building a foundation for something okay which you can do over a period of time 